a little more madness left in the Matanuska this year. It's Palmer vs. Palmer at Palmer. The Northern Lights Conference's best and statewide number two Colony Knights drop by the Palmer High Gym before fries and milkshakes at the Beho. NLC second place Moose trying not to let the Knights clinch a regular season title on Palmer's home floor. It's Nathan Umbarger with the big man Moose for the Knights and James Nisbet with the runner for the Moose. Palmer up 3-2. Brian Selmer shows screen and rolls when Antonio Bush jumps it. Connor Looney delivers. Selmer banks the deuce. Hunter Eisenhower creates position, spins into the paint, sees the help and hits Antonio Bush open on the weak side. The Knights are still down one. Hunter with a couple stab step jabs to feel out his man. Then the roundhouse. Knights up one. All five moose recovering in transition. But they leave the four baller open and Damian Folk flips the tray. But at the other end, Adam Ramos shakes Folk with the reverse dribble and shreds a tear. The Knights answer quickly. Eisenhower misses from the elbow, but Nathan Umbarger is in his office for the putback. Brian Selmer runs the length of the arc and takes the rock at the wing and fells the tree. Palmer down one after one quarter of play. It takes two tries, but Joe Gray feeds the low post and Boyd Huffman uses the glass to convert. On the moose end, big man Hayden Niekamp uses the power dribble and the rocker to put Palmer up one. The Moose swing it around the horn with three quick passes. And Nathan Mayer sinks the three ball from the corner pocket. Palmer up by three. But on the night side, Hunter Eisenhower circles the D and slices the lane for the shorty. Brian Selmer drives. But overshoots. No worries. Cam Cameron is there for the putback. Nathan Mayer drives the lane, creates all kinds of space for Brian Selmer who takes his time to dial in the quad. Three plus one for four, Palmer up by six. The Knights answer quickly. It ain't pretty, but Antonio Bush and Nathan Umbarger work the give and go. Palmer still up by five. And Damian Folk feeds Umbarger at the middle block. Nathan rocks and drops. The Moose lead is down to three. But Connor Looney wastes no time going coastal, end to end for the quick deuce. Damian Folk runs off the Joe Gray screen for the quick peek from the top of the key and feels it. Once again, Umbarger owns the middle block. This time it's the rock, drop, fake, and finish. The Knights go up by two. As Nathan Mayer dribbles over the top of the key, Connor Looney pops off of a Hayden Niekamp screen, takes the feed and flips the net. Palmer back on top. James Nisbet with the retreat, the cross, and his patent pending runner off the glass. The Moose take a three-point lead into the locker room. The 6-2 and two Moose are within 16 minutes of a season split and moving to within one game of the 8-0 Knights. But not so fast. Hunter Eisenhower fakes, floats, and sinks the puck. And Damian Folk flings the filthy dime to Joe Gray, who fakes and fades. Knights up one. Brian Selmer following the ball to the front door, then cuts hard to the back door. Nathan Mayer the assist. Brian, another and one, puts the moose up by two. Connor Looney turns up the heat on D. He freezes Folk, then robs Gray. Joe Gray denies the easy bucket, but Connor sinks both free throws. Give him an inch, and he'll take a three. Damian Folk knocks up a defensive battle at 35. But Adam Ramoth answers, curls to the paint, and gets the friendly from the iron. Palmer up two. 
Hayden Niekamp pulls out every trick in his big man arsenal, but can't get the friendly, so Brian Selmer copies the big cat and gets his own. The Moose are up five after three quarters of play. It's getting hot in here. Final frame. The Moose leave the door slightly ajar and Joe Trey steals the cookie. Damian Folk looks to take advantage of a matchup, takes the lane, but Connor Looney draws the charge. And Connor makes something out of nothing on the O side. Shoots from the bottom of his J for the deuce. Palmer up 43-39. Left side, Looney sees a problem developing. Races to close out on Folk, but Damien elevates and gets the clutch up over the fingertips and through the strings. Then Damien takes away the passing lane and the puck. Can't quite finish on the runner, but he draws the foul and drops both to put the Knights up by one. And Coach Bird gives him a quick breather. Nathan Umbarger passes and cuts, curls down the lane, Joe Gray feeds, Nathan draws the foul and sinks both frees. Up three, the Knights keep pounding it into Umbarger, but Brian Selmer starts locking the key. If at first you don't succeed, but Brian Selmer wins again, doing it with D. So the Knights change course, use a quick transition and a long ball. Tanner Menard with the big time three, Colony up 49-43. The Moose need a timeout, the Knights are closing in on a regular season title. The Moose get to within four with a pair from the stripe, but Hunter Eisenhower goes Euro, gets the lead back to six with just two minutes to play. Damian Folk pressures the ball, forcing the long pass and the turnover. The Moose missed three field goal attempts and the front end of a one and one over a minute's time before Connor Looney gives them a little life with these slick nickels, but the Moose are down six and Joe Gray spreads the icing at the stripe. The Knights seal the deal with the 56 to 48 road win three miles from home. They're nine and oh and will be the NLC's top seed at regionals. The Moose might need to close with a home win against Solgatna to lock up the second seed. Damian Folk led all Knights with 18 points. Nathan Umbarger and Joe Gray each dropped 10 for the Knights, and Hunter Eisenhower added 9. Brian Selmer led the Moose with 18. Connor Looney was held to 10. James Nisbet scored 7, and Hayden Niekamp and Adam Raymond pitched in with 4 apiece. The Colony Knights win a defensive battle 56-48 and clinch a Northern Lights Conference regular season championship in P-Town.